back now to the breaking news from Capitol Hill, the expulsion of Congressman George Santos from the House. New York Republican Congressman Mike Lawler joining us now. Congressman, thank you very much. You voted for expulsion. Uh, what does the historic vote mean, and what do you think about the leadership of the Speaker, the Majority Leader, at least Stavonic, voting against it? Well, look, this was about restoring trust in the institution uh, and holding George Santos accountable. Uh, he not only defrauded voters, he defrauded donors, uh, stealing money, uh, putting it into his personal account to pay for, uh, you know, clothing from Hermes and Ferragamo uh, to Botox injections and, and an OnlyFans subscription. Uh, I mean, it was truly absurd. Uh, he was unfit to serve. I called for his resignation going back to the beginning of the year. Uh, it's why my colleague Anthony D. Esposito, Nick LaLota, Mark Molinaro, why we uh, pushed for this vote uh, to bring uh, the expulsion resolution to the floor. Uh, and today uh, you saw a broad bipartisan uh, vote, uh, you know, two thirds required uh, to remove him from office. This was not about due process. Uh, he was afforded every opportunity to comply and uh, work with the ethics committee and answer their questions. He chose not to. That ethics committee report was damning. Uh, with respect to leadership, look, every member has the right to vote their conscience, uh, to vote what they think uh, is in the best interest. Uh, I'm not in the business of telling other members how to vote. You had two Democrats who voted no, two Democrats vote present. Uh, last time around, 31 Democrats voted no. So uh, obviously there are people who have a difference of opinion here. Uh, that's fine. The, the reality is uh, over two thirds voted to expel him. There will be a special election. The governor has 10 days uh, to call a, a special election and set a date. Uh, and the election has to be held within 70 to 80 days after that. Uh, so we will have a special election in short order uh, at the beginning of next year uh, to replace George Santos.